Hey YouTube, I'm just going to show you guys how to do a automatic transmission fluid and filter change on my 2001 Mitsubishi Galant ES. Uh, stay tuned. First things first, pop the hood. Turn on the light. Our transmission in this car is located right here. I don't know if you can see it, there's a shifting part and the pan would make it face right under here. Can you guys see that? It's this big metal thing right there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove that pan, change the filter, which I have right here. Picked up at advanced auto parts. And the gasket for the oil pan. Here's the filter. Here's the gasket for the oil pan. And once we do that, all the liquid that'll drip out, we can change with Castrol, Transmax, Import, Multi Vehicle, Automatic Transmission Fluid. Got five quarts of it, just to make sure. And also, I'm going to put in Lucas Transmission Fix Stop Slip just to give it a better, smoother shifting. So hopefully this all goes good. Let's start out by jacking up the car. Using your hydraulic jack, secure it to the lining right here, off the frame. And start jacking your way up. Okay, now you're going to put your jack stand on it with support. And now you're going to have the weight rest on that jack stand. Let's go to the other side and do the same thing. Find the same bar for the frame and start jacking it up. There we go. So here is my transmission oil pan. It's that black box right there. And as you can see, there's a lot of bolts all around it. So what you're going to have to do is find the correct measurement using your owner manual or online. Mine is a 3 8 S, and I needed to use an adapter for it, but I'm going to start cranking it away. And what you're going to have to do is set your oil pan right there uh, so it can drip down directly onto it. And just let me get a few done, and then I'll show you once you're done unscrewing. All right, now I got most of the bolts loosened. It's the oil pan, and it's about to start dripping soon. Uh, you can see 
I got those loose. Now I just have to get like four or five at the top right there. So give me a second. Okay, this is known as red rain. Basically what is happening, uh, I disconnected all the bolts and everything, gave it a little tap with the flathead screwdriver and a hammer at the top, and all the oil is now dripping down. Let me give it another hit. And there we go. Oh, oh, it's red waterfall. And red, red rain. Disconnected all the bolts. I mean, unscrewed all the bolts. And now it's just dripping down the old automatic transmission fluid. Now this particular car hadn't been, hadn't ever had its uh, transmission oil changed. So it might be dirtier than others. Just give it a few minutes to drain out, and I'll show you the inside of the oil pan. Just gonna show you guys something else. When I uh, disconnected all the, unscrewed all the bolts, I mean, this little area right here, there was a hose attached to the oil pan, so I just had to take that bolt off, which was kind of the last bolt, hold it in place, and there goes the oil pan. Here's the inside of the transmission, the tranny. Let me go from the bottom. Oh. And that's the oil pan right there. Let me get that out and show you guys closer. Alright, so I just picked it up online and apparently um, Mitsubishi transmissions do not have the oil filter or the transmission oil filter in the front like most cars do. Instead, they have it on the inside of the tranny. So it either requires hours of... Uh, prep and disassembly and then reassembly or you can take it to your local Mitsubishi dealer to have it done so unfortunately I will not be showing you guys how to do that if you want I can put a link in the description to uh, Mitsubishi dealers and if you call them up you can arrange a sit in with them and they can explain your options but basically what I'm gonna do right now I'm going to uh, put the gasket on I'm gonna put the oil pan that I just cleaned put it back on and um, add the fluid. Also, I'm going to add a Lucas transmission slip fix this thing. Transmission fix stop slips. Also, along with uh, Castrol Transmax import multi vehicle uh, transmission oil automatic. And I'm just going to put it back together and crank it up, see how it runs. Um, Alright, just give me a second to put this back together. Before I put the oil pan, before I put the oil pan back on, I'm just gonna lower the car once more to make sure that all the fluid I can get out of there, I'm getting out of there. So, jack it up again. Yeah, a lot more is coming out. Alright, let's lower the other side too.
there the car is completely level. Should be a lot more of this stuff coming out. Yeah, there's plenty more dripping out, so I'll keep, give that a few minutes to completely drain out. I'll get back with you guys. Alright, so the transmission has stopped uh, leaking, so I'm going to jack it back up. I mean, not like leaking, um, emptying its fluids, I guess. I'm going to jack it back up so then I can install the new gasket and the old oil pan I have cleaned out. Alright. Alright, so what you're going to want to do, you're going to get your old oil, your original oil pan, which has been cleaned out already, uh, your gasket, and move my camera down real quick. You're going to put it right there, back where it goes, with just two screws to begin with. So I just got the oil pan back on, and unfortunately, while I was working, one of the bolts broke in half. The other half is on the inside. Uh, hopefully it doesn't affect me that much, but I'm going to pour the transmission oil into here, and this indicates how many quarts I will have to put in, since each one of those little things is one quart. So here we go. Hey YouTube, I'm just going to show you guys how to do a automatic transmission fluid and filter change on my 2001 Mitsubishi Galant ES. Uh, stay tuned. First things first, pop the hood. Turn on the light. Our transmission in this car is located right here. I don't know if you can see it, there's a shifting part and the pan would make it face right under here. Can you guys see that? It's this big metal thing right there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove that pan, change the filter, which I have right here. Picked up at advanced auto parts. And the gasket for the oil pan. Here's the filter. Here's the gasket for the oil pan. And once we do that, all the liquid that'll drip out, we can change with Castrol, Transmax, import multi vehicle automatic transmission fluid. Got five quarts of it, just to make sure. And also, I'm going to put in Lucas Transmission Fix Stop Slip just to give it a better, smoother shifting. So hopefully this all goes good. Let's start out by jacking up the car. Using your hydraulic jack to get it to the lining right here, off the frame. And start jacking your way up. Put your jack stand on it for support. And now you're gonna have the weight wrist on that jack stand. Let's go 
to the other side and do the same thing. One quart is equal to 946 milliliters. Hey YouTube, I'm just going to show you guys how to do a automatic transmission fluid and filter change on my 2001 Mitsubishi Galant ES. Uh, stay tuned. First things first, pop the hood. Turn on the light. Our transmission in this car is located right here. I don't know if you can see it, there's the shifting part, and the pan would make it piece right under here. Can you guys see that? It's this big metal thing right there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove that pan, change the filter, which I have right here. Picked up at advanced auto parts. And the gasket for the oil pan. Here's the filter. Here's the gasket for the oil pan. And once we do that, all the liquid that'll drip out, we can change with Castrol, Transmax, Import, Multi Vehicle, Automatic Transmission Fluid. Got five quarts of it, just to make sure. And also, I'm going to put in Lucas Transmission Fix Stop Slip just to give it a better, smoother shifting. So hopefully this all goes good. Let's start out by jacking up the car. Using your hydraulic jack to get it to the lining right here, off the frame. And start jacking your way up. side old oil new oil It might take a uh, few seconds, usually a few seconds longer than usual to crank over since I've been running the battery on uh, music for the past few hours. Hopefully it'll still turn off. If not, I'll charge the battery a little and then I'll turn it on. Get this light out of the way. Crap. Stick in and let's measure the amount once the car has been running for a little. Alright, let's go in the car. Let's put this right here.
no, it's even. It's still in neutral, but I'm gonna rev it up to see if I can get it moving a little. Let's check it out. Seems all right. Sounds smooth. <laughs> Alright, seems alright. I'll take it out for a test spin and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Alright, I'm going to take it out for a spin. It's in park right now. Feels smooth. Yeah, usually this car would have a. Uh, when I test drove it before I changed the oil, it would kind of slip and it would grind the gears a little. But so far, so good. Well, I'm gonna be honest, not not even kidding, this feels a lot smoother than it did before. Shifts perfectly, doesn't even skip a beat. It doesn't stall like it used to. It used to kind of do like dun dun, but nope, completely sound free, and seems to be shifting a okay. All right, guys, if you want to see other ones of my videos, other videos of mine, uh, check my channel Beats by Dr. Dre Review, and uh, I'm gonna put up more videos of my car and stuff that I'm gonna be fixing in it, little by little. But this fix so far has gone A-OK. -okay. Peace. Look at the empty pan with all the old oil. It's all brown. It smells burnt. All this sludge on it just shows you that this car really needed a transmission oil change. If you guys want to find out where to buy the parts for this, I'll have a link in the description for the actual part that I bought off of Advanced Auto Parts. And similar parts you can buy from them.